Rebecca Robeson, interior designer, businesswoman, and mother. Join me as I take you through my projects, my life, and what keeps me driven to design. Hi guys, Shara Robeson here. Welcome back from your spring or Easter or otherwise hopefully enjoyable break. We have been frantically busy here at Robeson Design, now coming back from our break. Grayson's been busy with his paintings for the Desert Rose Inn. Kate's been all over the showroom's map with follow-up for our current projects. I don't know how you keep track of where all the samples are. I'm maybe a little lost. Should I just start opening doors? Okay, how about this? <laughs> Scott, well, I think he's been going through early menopause, so we've been leaving him alone. And Rebecca, I don't think she's been feeling so hot since making our Easter baskets. So far, we've eaten all of my props, and we haven't gotten anything done. <laughs> so today, I thought I'd take over and show you guys my past bedroom, my past apartment, and my current one. I've been working with Robeson Design as the digital media and public relations manager for the past six months, but I've been the beneficiary of my mother's great design talents all my life. The room my mom designed for me during my high school years really set the bar high. She installed floor to ceiling mirrors, which made the room feel much larger, of course, but also made it feel very elegant. She removed my closet doors and made a comfortable area for me to do my schoolwork. But what truly sealed the deal and forever spoiled me was my closet. A dedicated dressing room, full wardrobe station, again, floor to ceiling mirrors and amenities for all of my clothing and accessories. It was a dream. If you want to watch the full video of this room tour, it'll be in the description box below. Moving out and on to college, mom came to the rescue once again, this time in my dorm room. We were conservative with our resources. We even split the one duvet cover we had into two throws for the end of each bed. This greatly improved the color and pattern balance in the room. So if my high school room raised the bar, my first apartment blew the hat off of the house. We fabricated a reclaimed wood wall in our living room, which we duplicated conceptually in the bedroom. We hardwired in a new chandelier and pendant lights. We literally changed everything. And then? So I just got an interesting uh, little letter in the mail um, at my apartment. We have to sign another 12 month lease or we have to move. I need to find something that's more month to month, which basically means in three weeks we have to be, I have to be out and the entire apartment has to be packed up and put somewhere else. So we had to take it all down, apart and restore it to its pre ropeson state. It was tragic. But I did find something. Small, yes, but in the best location and at a price I could afford on my own. So here's the deal. These used to be in Shara's place, and they were hardwired with all this stuff, right? What I need is now for these to be not hardwired, but what do you call it? Softwired? Doctored. Doctored. <gasps> By Dr. Electric. Oh, that was, was that, did I just walk right into that or what? I did. I did. We made it a point to use as many existing pieces from my past apartment as possible. It was necessary to buy a couple items, but not too many. And we went for sale pieces on the things we did purchase. Hi, welcome. Hey, it's coming together. Um, Luis only has a short amount of time, but I wanted him to come and get some measurements of things that we still need. I write this down. Sarah, do you have anything to write on? Thank God one. you did not make my bed. <laughs> She's really 
really weird about her bed, you guys. My mom it's throws like weird. toolboxes on her bed and is like, what's the big deal? <laughs> Right now, I'm thinking a fan would be great. Tara, stay where you are, and Todd, go up just a week. You're just playing with me. You didn't move that at all. Uh, I have the dimmers. Are you ready for my new apartment tour? Let's take a look. Well, hello. Welcome to my lovely beach tree house. The challenge with a studio is you have to take one room essentially and make it into a multi-purpose space. In Shara's case, she needed a bedroom, a living room, a place to entertain and watch television, a home office, and a closet all in one room. So over here I have my lovely drapes. Um, these are kind of like a linen, soft, very flowy. I live by the beach, so I didn't want anything too thick. All of these things were actually from my old place. My mom thought that we couldn't actually do it or we didn't buy anything new, and we pretty much did. I mean, we used all the great furniture I had in my last place and made it work, which that is an accomplishment for a ropes and woman. Okay, we like to shop. When it comes to color selection, in a place like this, it's very neutral and very light in color. I typically like to add pops of color with pillows, art, flowers, things like that. In this case, we decided to keep it all very monochromatic. And one of my favorite things about this room, sitting in this little retro chair, is these cool bottles. I just think these are so pretty. And putting them in the window, you can appreciate them from the outside as well as from the inside. And they are bejeweled. Okay, so let me take you over here to the other part of my room. If you haven't noticed, this is kind of the great room. This is the very same bedding that Shara had in her last apartment. And she has now, of course, her fabulous reclaimed wood headboard. All white bedding, I love all white bedding. Some really nice, um, this actually was a comforter that my mom cut into two and used it kind of as an end cap and then took, this used to actually be one pillow, one grand like Euro sham, and she cut it into two. So that way I have a nice little accent pillow to throw on my bed. These actually used to be in my kitchen in my old place. These were repurposed. We used the cables to kind of run it up back behind the mirror so you don't see the actual cord running down the entire wall. That's kind of a good tip that I learned from my mother. Gee, how does this work? I don't have my glasses on. Bins, 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 bins. That is what it's all about. Over here, as you can see, even more bins on the side. Um, place to put my workout clothes. I have a lot of stuff. How cool is this? When she has to go do her laundry, she pulls out one basket and good to go. This is my great shower that looks like a phone booth. Don't be um, confused, it is this small in real life. I found some little white shelves and I stacked them on top of each other and she's able to have extra toilet paper, a cute little, look at this. That's resin, it's fake. So she doesn't have to worry about it dying. <sighs> she might need to dust it every once in a while, but it doesn't have to worry about it dying. The entire apartment is about 350 square feet. So it's a very, very small area. That being said, uh, we've had to do a couple different really strategic things to make the space feel bigger. These used to have cabinet doors on them, much like the one over here. Uh, and it just felt very constricted and kind of came out at you. And she had the idea to open them up, take the doors off, and actually paint the entire thing all white. If you have some bright colored dishes, it's actually a fun touch. This wall was just a plain blank wall. And as you can tell, I have a bit of a dilemma. Because I've got a cabinet that opens here, and a fridge that opens here. Voila! How clever was that? Of course. Nice little anthro apron. How could any girl have an apartment without her anthro apron? You know what I mean? Here was the last piece we added to this place. And it was so necessary. I think if the owners of this apartment are watching, they should buy these permanently for these places. This 
is a very inexpensive cabinet that we added. Don't judge me based on my lack of food. I really hope you guys did enjoy that room tour. Leave me a comment below and tell me what you think. From all of us here at Robeson Design, we want to say thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.